Welcome to the All Around Joe Podcast, where we optimize your human performance from my personal experience as an athlete, coach, and all-around self-improvement junkie. On this edition of the All Around Joe Podcast, I'm going to be talking about my thoughts after my fourth round of the Fasting Mimicking Diet by Prolon. How are you guys doing today? I'm coming to you from rainy Enumclaw, Washington, where it's pouring rain outside, and I am doing the kitchen edition here. If you're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook, where I'm sitting at the kitchen talking to you about the fasting mimicking diet, which seems about the opposite of what we should be talking about if I'm standing in the kitchen, because you don't get to eat a lot when you're doing a fast or the fasting mimicking diet. Before we get started today, this podcast is is brought to you by The Get Better Project, which is my online at-home training program, which only requires zero two dumbbells, or you could do it with a full, legit garage gym. But we just do it with two dumbbells from our van anywhere in the United States and get in phenomenal shape, lean, muscular abilities to do, you know, running, running up mountains, hiking, rappelling, all that stuff. Like it prepares us to be in phenomenal shape anywhere in the world with just two dumbbells. Or if you want to get started with zero, we have two workout sessions per day that have zero equipment needed. You can get started by going to thegetbetterproject.com slash two weeks. That's thegetbetterproject.com slash the number two, W-E-E-K-S. If you have any questions about that, let me know. We'd love to have you in the program. All right, guys, the fasting mimicking diet. This is my fourth time and we will continue to do this. So you should know that it's something that is really excellent at doing or excellent to do. (laughs) The reason it's excellent to do is because it has a ton of benefits for you. The things that people are probably going to have pulled out of this, they're probably going to think, oh, I want to do it because of that, is there is, it's a five-day program and you lose quite a bit of body fat in those five days. It's actually been shown that it specifically pulls or has targets the belly fat, which is really amazing. But I've seen it happen four times now. And I've lost about 10 pounds every single time in five days. Emily has lost like five to six pounds and other people who do it because we run this in the Get Better Project and you can join along with us every single time that we do it in the Get Better Project. And we've seen, you know, some like five, six, seven pounds of weight loss per woman. And then you get closer to that, you know, it depends on your total body weight too. If you're closer to like 200 pounds, like I am, you usually get closer to 10 pounds, 150, you know, about half or, you know, some five to six, seven pounds of loss per that. So you get some great body fat loss. You get cell autophagy, which basically means that your cells are going to be regenerating themselves. So think longevity, think living longer, think living better, think less aging, that type of thing. Super cool. And then think stem cell regeneration or stem cells being uh, stem cells being released in your body. So more stem cell production, which is really fantastic because if you have any aching pains or things like that in your body, I've noticed that those things decrease quite a bit after just the five days of fasting. So I attribute that to the stem cell production that is happening from this. The cool thing about the Prolon five-day fasting mimicking diet is it's developed by Walter Longo, who is a PhD at USC and has been studying this stuff for a long time. So ideally, or, or like what the, the fasting mimicking diet is set up to do, do or be is to be safer than a water-only fast and actually enhance the fasting principles by adding specific foods in a very low quantity at specific times during this diet. So it's very interesting concept. I really gravitate, gravitated to it and did a whole bunch of research on it before I even got started. And I've even had interviews of the El Nutro, which is like El Nutro Prolon. Uh, they're kind of like linked together. They're CEO. And I'll put the links to that in the show notes here. The show notes are going to be at allaroundjoe.com slash 267. That's allaroundjoe.com slash 267. So if you'd like to listen to that interview that I did with the El Nutro CEO, which is a very interesting interview, I do think so even though i'm saying it on my own podcast it is very good interesting stuff and talks about you know why they do things how they formulated them that type of thing so what i noticed on this round with the fasting mimicking diet the fourth round is it was easiest by far like super duper easy um i didn't hardly even notice hunger until the last day it was just very easy. Uh, I did have a headache the f- pretty much the full first day, and that was not very comfortable. But then uh, didn't really have too much brain fog, which I've noticed almost every other time in the past. 
Not much brain fog on day one. Clarity came on day two, which the time before the third round, it came on day three. And then you just get clearer and clearer as far as your mind goes and you feel like you need caffeine less and less. I feel like the downside is that, or the drop to it or the headache or whatnot is caused by the caffeine, not by the fasting necessarily because we go cold turkey. They've actually said to us that it would be okay if you had one cup of coffee or caffeinated source uh, per day, and that would not really affect your fast, but we figure it's a good time to reset those caffeine uh, needs as well. So is by far the easiest. Um, I'm getting tired of their their soups. So like a lot of what the diet is for lunch and dinner are these powdered soups that you mix with hot water. And they have two different varieties. And I've got to say, though, on this fourth time, I really wasn't feeling all that hunger, all that much hunger for these particular soups. The first three times, I actually craved them. I thought they were great. It was fantastic. And this time, I don't know, it just did not do it for me so much. And I was not looking forward to them. So I wouldn't worry about that if you were thinking of doing this for the first or the second time. It but I'm just noting it. I'm letting you know that that's where I'm going. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I wish that they had a food version of this that I would buy for just you know spending the same amount of, of money, but it would just be so much easier or uh, not easier, but different, you know, because the variance is something. If you're doing this quite often, which you're doing it every uh, four to six months, because it's great for your body and longevity and like all these things, it is nice if you don't have to eat the same things over and over. And the two varieties are maybe not enough for me at this particular time, but I'm not going to stop. I won't stop doing that and, you know, not do it because of that. I'm just letting you all know. Uh, Let's see, body fat by far went down. So it was very noticeable as it is pretty much every time that the stomach body fat decreases. You also feel like you have a total body um, size decrease. So by about day four, you're like, man, I'm looking kind of small. I'm looking super lean, but kind of small. Uh, here's the interesting thing, though, is that the the leanness actually, if you were to ask someone else, yeah, they'd be you. You look small, but because you are leaner, you actually look bigger, more muscular, which is this kind of uh, a strange transition that happens. Which is also why when you see somebody like a uh, YouTube star that looks super lean and ripped, and you see them in person, you're like, man, this person's actually really small. They're a small person. Or when you see them next to somebody that's a normal sized human being that maybe is not as ripped or as muscular, you're still like, man, they're just like small. They look super awesome, but they're small because they're super lean, not much body fat on them. Let's see. I already mentioned that I hardly had any hunger until the last day. So that was fantastic. Usually the hunger hits and the stomach feels like it's almost like knotted up into a ball by about day three. That didn't happen to me at all. And the hunger didn't really hit. I didn't start feeling hungry at all until day five. So that that was super cool. It sends a sense to me that my body is getting used to switching into this kind of like low calorie fasting phase. And which is awesome because I think that adaptation is going to be a very positive thing down the road. So it was interesting because something that I noticed as well is my vision got really, really sharp for the, towards the end of the fast and then like for a few days after, like so sharp, like unbelievably sharp. And I have, I'm not sure exactly what my vision numbers are right now, but I've never had to have glasses in my life and never had a need for them. But I could even notice like everything like seemed like it was vibrant, even like sharp and vibrant. It's just this really cool phenomenon. And Emily said that she had it happen as well. So I would love to know what the science is behind that. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry, I can't share that with you. But it was just this uh, interesting thing that we, we both noticed. Lastly, the few days after because it's been a few days now, less than a week, but a few days since we, we stopped this fasting. I feel like I'm actually getting even leaner and my muscles, since I've been working out hard since the fast, are actually getting bigger, which is super cool. So we're having this effect and what they, the people at the Prolon, Fasting Mimic and Diet, have said that there is the most of the ch- adaptation and changes are taking a few days to a few weeks after you finish, which is incredibly cool. And you have... Also, a big, big amount of people that will see something like this. So after the fast, they will see a vast increase in muscle mass. And they you have these hormone regulations that uh, or adaptations that happen as well. So I'm really seeing that. I didn't see it quite as much in the past. But right now, I feel like it's very enhanced. And it's a cool thing 
to see because it's like your muscles were were not necessarily you didn't decrease in musculature, but then afterwards you got an increase of it, and the muscles start to fill up with glycogen again and water, and they start to look and feel really good, and you start to feel really good. So, well, start or feel even better than you did before. So you have this performance enhancement as well. I did a workout last night that I did unbroken that I would not have thought that I would be able to do unbroken, but I got into it. I was like, man, this is hard, but. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to do this. I'm going to push through it. I don't know that I would have felt that same way a few weeks ago. Pretty cool stuff. So fasting mimicking diet, highly recommend it. You can go to Prolon Fast, P-R-O-L-O-N-F-A-S-T dot com and get started with this. I'm not sure how long this will be, but right now they've got a pretty cool promotion where you get a bunch of their fast bars and you get like $25 off of the actual kit right now. I'm not sure, like I said, how long that's going to last, but you should definitely check that out at prolonfast.com. And if you guys have any questions about this at all, uh, definitely hit me up. I will answer them to the best of my ability or figure out who can have those or get those answers to you. I just think this is something that's incredibly beneficial for us all to do. I suggest all of my family and friends and people in the Get Better Project do it. And if you'd like to even do it with us, you should you know, join in on the Get Better Project. I I don't usually say, tell this to people, but if you join the two weeks of the Get Better Project, so the free drop down that pops up, at the end, we do a pay what you can for the Get Better Project right now. I'm not sure how long this is going to last either, but it's a pay what you can. So you come in and let's say that you are having hard financial times, but you know this would be beneficial for you. You can put in whatever number you want there from $5 all the way up to whatever you want. The suggested price for the Get Better Project is $39 or $40 a month, but we're not going to hold you to that. We're not going to say, hey, you can't afford this. You can only afford $10 a month. We're not going to accept you into the Get Better Project. We are. So if you do those, those two weeks free, you will get the opportunity to put in whatever price you think you can afford right now. And that's just going to be continuous. We're not going to ask you to pay more at any other time. So check that out. Head over to thegetbetterproject.com slash two weeks. That will get you to that special opt-in form. And uh, let us know if you have any questions. We'd love to help you out. The Get Better Project is there to get better, to help you get better, to help us get better. We're walking the walk. We're not one of these programs that you know goes and, and does things, but we don't actually you know, do the program ourselves. We do the program and you get to do it along with si- uh, beside us and get the same results that we do. So if you like the way my abs look or Emily's abs look or muscles, how toned Emily's arms are, she's doing this program. So you should do it as well. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this podcast. I hope it was informative for you about this fourth time that we've done this fasting mimicking diet by Prolon. And yeah, we'll see you soon. The All Around Joe Podcast, we optimize your human performance for my personal experience as an athlete, coach, and all-around self-improvement junkie. We'll see you on the next podcast.